What I'm doing here, I did a, I was trying to do a tutorial on strolling a jig. Oh, hang on, I've got a walleye. <laughs> that was out deep too. Nice. Oh yeah, oh nice walleye, nice, nice. Walleye. I was trying to do a tutorial on strolling a jig, which is just, I call it strolling. It's just really trolling with your electric motor. Because um, I haven't been on this lake in like a month. And it's raining. See the little rain on my camera. And everything's bad. So I don't know where the walleye are. So I just wanted to cover a bunch of water. Hell, I probably trolled four miles and didn't catch anything. So I thought I'd try something different. And I'm spot locked right now off of a hump out in the middle of the lake. I don't know, it probably tops out at 13 feet, but I'm off the edge. It's got a real steep drop off to it. And uh, I'm pitching my spoon. That's a lively one. Pitching my spoon up onto the hump. I guess it wasn't that big. Pitching my spoon onto the hump and then spooning it back to the boat down that dr steep drop off. And I'm getting whacked with walleye and sauger both as it's coming down off that drop off. And man, there's a lot of pressure on this lake. Holy cow. I mean, it's raining one of the most awful days in the world. And there was five boats on the spot. Not this one, but the one adjacent to it. And everybody's fishing shallow. Uh, Nineteen-inch solder. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Two. See, I just moved, so when I cast there, I count my lure down, because I know that over there I was hitting the top of the hump, counting six times. However deep that is, I don't know. But anyway, if I count down and it goes to 12, you know, before it hits the bottom, then I'll know that, um, you know, I need to cast more that way to get to the hump. I got hung up there. I got hung up there, but I want to make a good point. When you are spooning for walleye and you think you're hung up, don't start jerking. Keep pressure on it. Because I can't tell you how many big walleye I thought I was hung up and I start jerking it and it jerks back. 
So a really big walleye, like 25 inch plus, it'll feel like you're hung up sometimes. When you go to pick up your spoon, you'll be like, damn, I'm snagged. Just stay into it and see if it jerks back. And then if it don't, then you can jerk it out like that. See, that, see how that spoon comes right out of its mouth when you get the weight off of it? That's why you got to really stay into these fish when you're using braid. I mean, you got to use braid. Or you'll know, I would never have felt that on mono. I mean, I just felt a little tick. Something different slammed into it. You know, as my spoon was falling down, and there's a walleye. 